no, on well, that well, just, I, I'm not, I don't want to miss the story when it's don't fresh. Don't sit on that. Don't sit uh, on don't that. Worry, I'm okay. Okay. I'll so, move my legs. Okay, so you? Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> smart. So anyway, so you're telling me that I didn't, that Warren Clough testified for John Wynn. When he got arrested for having visited me in prison. He could, he did. <sighs> Two, one year on one occasion, and he went out and visited me again, and they gave him another year. So he had to testify that John was my husband, and I was his lawyer, and John wanted me to help him get his money. At the same time, I had a suit against John. I don't know if you knew that. No. I had to have a suit against John because they were going to pay my money to John. Oh. And I was in, listed on the contract. Oh, with, right. You wrote with, a contract with no, John. No, no, no. Warner Brothers wrote a contract with John and had me named as a beneficiary oh. on the contract. Okay, well, because, I, don't want, I don't want to get too involved in legal arguments because at uh, one of the hearings, yes. a guy spoke up and said in law school, they had looked into your case. Now, you have, you went to college. Tell me what your degrees are in. Three degrees in law. What? Three degrees? What kind three, of degrees? Three degrees. I, I've gotten three law degrees. And what kind? What's the name of them? What they're, I don't know what law these are. What, is, what are they? The state. The state law? The state law, wills and trusts, one in criminology, a, law, uh, a, a degree in juvenile justice. And so my specialty is First Amendment constitutional rights. And I'm, I'm a constitutionalist. Of course, the United States doesn't. It's trying to get away from the Constitution now. Running. So actually, your 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 position in law has kind of like a, a Republican streak in it. Like, it, aren't the ones that we all hate on the Supreme Court because they're con You know how Barack Obama got elected president of the Law Review? There was a small group of people at the Harvard Law School, they call themselves constitutionalists or federalists, I forget which. Anyway, they were looked down upon by everybody else, but Barack Obama was willing to sit and talk to them and listen to their story. And to uh, and when it came time to vote for who was going to be the review, it was those people's votes that gave Barack Obama the edge because he was the only one that they considered would give them a fair hearing before... In the Student Law Review thing, that's how he became editor of the Student Law Review in Harvard. He was just being utterly fair and inclusive, listening to their arguments. That's the way I am. That's why I'm going to the Jehovah Witness Hall with you. I've never been to a Kingdom Hall meeting. Now, people told me Jehovah's Witnesses will treat me like shit because if you're not a Jehovah's Witness, that you're not even a human being. The game, oh, you don't know the hate against Jehovah's Witnesses? Yes, you know why everybody hates them? Why? Because they are right. Are Every, you remember, remember what Jesus Christ said? If you follow me, you will be objects of hatred. Who's the only religion that they hate? And who's the only religion? The Mormons, too. No, no. What religion is the only religion in the world especially here in the United States, that all members are ministers. They, the other religions don't want you to know anything about Now, wait the a minute. The Mormons have to go out and be minister ambassadors for the faith for five for a year or two. That's part of their... Jehovah's Witnesses are ministers for the faith for all their lives. Oh, so you're nothing but a minister after you join them. Exactly. Now, well, how are they going to react? You know, you... How are they going to react to me coming with you to Kingdom Hall, do you think? They will love you. And I'll be very quiet totally. and respectful. You don't have to be. You could speak your mind because they want to let you know that they are very well educated. And if you like education, okay, well, let you me get a college Let me tell you. Yes. I have a video on YouTube I can show you. Okay. It's entitled the world's most mo the world's most widely read ma most widely mag read magazine in the world. I ran in them in Journal Square where they had a neat standing literature up by a post. There was plenty of room for people to swirl around them. And they were, and I said, what do you mean the most white? They said they were sold all over the world. And the Jehovah's Witness magazine reached, I don't know, how many millions and millions and millions of people. Mm -hmm. Exactly, because. And I put that up. 
Yeah. On my, on, believe me, yeah. I went to the anti-gay anti-gay day rally because I love Spanish music, and I defended them. I said, "Look, these people were brought from church. Listen to this music. Could bad people love such beautiful music?" Of course, I guess Hitler loved certain opera, but anyway, classical. But anyway, I love Spanish music, and I did a video which I call a, a, a love letter to the religious right as a gay person covering an anti-gay rally. They had all these ministers bringing these people from church, all these black congregations. Oh, today, instead of going home, we're going down to the anti-gay rally. They weren't there because they hated gay people. They were there because they were meeting all the other people that shared their faith. And, you know, they had kids four years old holding a sign, Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Yeah, they weren't intense about gay. They were simply there to enjoy a day out with brethren like you were having a See, a, a church picnic. Sure, That's what it was. And the New York Times said, down. amazingly, amazingly, 30,000 people showed up for that rally. They couldn't believe it. I don't know why they missed the fact they were all bussed in directly from church by their ministers. That's one thing Jehovah's Witnesses would never do. They would never condemn a, a, a gay person. Never. So I can would never be rally against a gay cause. Okay, let me tell you a funny story. Okay. President of the Machine Society, Joe McCarthy, mm -hmm. a Jehovah Witness, knocked on his door, and he brought him in, and somehow seduced him, ended up in bed, having sex together, and after it was all over, the Jehovah's Witness broke down into tears and went to pieces. And when the Jehovah's Witnesses knocked on my door, started talking about God, David Collins, my lover, my wife, said, there's only one God I worship in the world. And right now he's in the shower taking, he, right now he's in the bathroom taking a shower. I mean, I don't, I wish I could have seen that. I have no idea what the reaction was. But of course, you know, that was all, all he had to say to them. He wasn't about to let them in the apartment or anything. But if, you know, I think, that must have been a strange thing for them to hear in 1973 uh, uh, or four, because we were still in 1973, four or five, because we were still in Brooklyn. We got married in 72, and we moved here in 76. That was in Grand Army Plaza. I mean, what, what, what would a normal, what would a Jehovah Witness say if some queen opened the door and said that to them? Well, you have to remember, Everybody that goes and knocks on your door talking about God is not necessarily a Jehovah's Witness. Well, they identify themselves as such. <laughs> That's The devil identifies himself as an angel of glory. Oh, okay, okay. So, well, listen, I want to stop this right now because I want to eat something, and this has been an incredible interview. Wow, this is just so, George, this is just unbelievably great.